So thanks all for coming here. Um, for those of I haven't met, my name is Craig Knowles, I'm the Chairman of the Authority, and uh, I'm joined by the other Authority Board members today. Welcome all. Um, I said this morning on TV somewhere that uh, of the very many challenges that obviously face the task of getting a basin plan into play, the biggest single challenge in my view is to make the uh, step into a new way of managing the system uh, in comparison to what John Howard once called uh, an old way which has well and truly reached its use by date. A system that has reached the end of its use by date needs to be focused on and needs to be managed for the benefit of the entire system and his message was as much to the communities of the basin as it was to the governments of the basin. Um, so we've endeavoured to strike a balance with this draft plan that's now a proposition out for public exhibition for the next 20 weeks. Um, we believe the plan uh, achieves a range of environmental objectives um, within the constraints of the system. We are unashamedly uh, making the point that uh, we do not seek to go back to natural uh, pre-European settlement uh, models of managing the system. There are things in the system like dams and roads and bridges and indeed towns on floodplains that exist for good reason. They contribute to our wealth, our national circumstance, our standard of living. And uh, we want to strike a balance here between those social and economic imperatives that underpin our nation's wealth and of course a healthy working basin, the health of the environment to allow that to continue for generations to come. And so this is the first step in the next step towards a new way of managing the system. Um, we believe we've built in time and indeed safety nets and checkpoints along the way. Through to 2019, that's been much discussed. I'm sure you're across a lot of that detail by now. We've been very open with our information to ensure that as change occurs, communities can adjust to that change. Change will occur. But, of course, how that change plays out will depend entirely, entirely on the way in which the last remaining volumes of water that are required to meet the targets and objectives of the plan are actually achieved. And we have said explicitly in our documentation that we recommend a bias towards infrastructure and investment in communities, which of course has a positive net effect. And I'm very pleased to see both the government respond to uh, that call uh, in the Parliament last week and indeed in the response of the Government to the Windsor Parliamentary Inquiry. On the Windsor Parliamentary Inquiry, Tony Windsor is on record as saying, and we have picked up and endorsed his recommendations in relation to the need for a rules review. For the last couple of hundred years, the rule books have grown like topsy around the jurisdictions and everyone knows but Windsor has prosecuted the case and we now pick it up where he has placed it that a rules review is required. We've hardwired those expectations into our plan so that by 2015, any opportunities out of a rules review can be brought to account. And so today we start the next step toward a new way of managing the basin. We look forward to working with communities to help improve it and refine it. The 20-week consultation process will be a further opportunity to add value. But I want to be clear, I want to be clear, this is an important opportunity for Australia. Uh, in the end, situation normal, the historic diametrically opposed views of different interest groups will do nothing to improve the well-being of our nation and the well-being of the health of the basin. We need to stop having the tug of war, stop pulling against each other and work together for a better, healthy working basin for now and into the future.